Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we are going to be using some of our um, framelits and we're going to be creating a lovely card. Um, we are going to be embossing with our framelits rather than cutting them. So we are using the um, stitch shape framelits and this is the largest oval. We are using the um, lovely tree from the In the Woods framelits. Um, and we are, so let's move those out of the way. And then we are using something which is probably the best, um, the best tool that you can get, which is our silicone mat. Um, now, you can get um, a set of, of um, plates and things that, that uh, or embossing mats and things that you can use. However, this little piece of silicone mat works equally as well. So what we need to do is we need to take one plate. We need to put the silicone mat onto the plate. We then need to put our piece of cardstock down in the centre. We then need to take our um, stitch shape framelit and we are going to position that um, as equally as we can in the centre. We're probably going to put a sentiment underneath and then we are going to put a, the second plate on top. Okay, so you have the silicon mat underneath so that when you go to cut it in the big shot, you are only going to get um, the embossed image and it's not going to cut through. So I'm going to stand up and bring the big shot across. Um, it only just fits into the camera shot. So I just wanted you to sort of see it as best you could. So let's just take that die out from underneath. Okay. And um, I have the original plate that it came with. I've had my big shot about five years and is working absolutely perfectly. So what we need to do is, um, you can tell that mine's very old because I have several shims of paper in there, um, but it works absolutely fine. So we're going to put it down onto the first tab or you would just use your standard base and sort of fiddle around with it so that you know exactly what uh, uh, what bit you're doing. And then we have our sandwich that I've just explained to you. And we're going to put this through and hopefully I can actually get it through in this tiny little space. And um, then we are just going to push it through. Now, it won't make very much of a noise at all. And in fact, you'll think that you're not... Um, it's not doing anything, but trust me, it is. So we're going to roll this back. I've just got to bring it that way so I can get my top up because as I say I'm working in a tiny little space here um, and I normally can't get my big shot in, but I just wanted you to see it. So we can then move it out and let's take the plate out and then show you. So this piece, you can see if we just gently move it off we have got the embossed pattern on it and also we've got the lovely image on the other side so we are now going to take the tree so let's take the tree let's move it out the way so it's not under the feet of my big shot and we are going to do exactly the same thing so we have our base plate down here we've got the silicon mat we are going to position the card in the center and we are going to put the tree in the centre here. So it's lined up as best we can. I'm looking at it at a complete angle. So I'm going to try and squeeze myself around and get it as centred as I can. And then we're going to put the plate in on the top again. Like that. And then we're just going to roll it through. And then just, I always roll it back on itself because then I can pick it up. You don't have to, you can do it one way. Um, and then we've then got this piece, which has, let me just squeeze this out of here. And we've then got this piece, which has beautifully 
given the impression on this side and also on the other side. So let me get rid of the big shot now because we don't need that. But I wanted to show you it um, and to show you just how good the silicone mat is at doing any form of embossing that you want. Uh, with any of your dies. It also means that your dies are, let me just move this out of the way so we haven't got that in the way onto the other side. Um, yeah, so the silica mat is something that you can use. Um, I use it inside my Stamparatus. Um, I also use it if I'm doing um, gluey bits um, because being silicon it comes off and um, it really is, I think it's only about five odd pounds. So it's probably one of the best um, investments that I ever made because I use it for absolutely everything. So let's have a look at this card now. So you've got um, this side, which is um, um, embossed in that way. And you've got this side where it comes out a bit. And this is the side that we're going to work on because I thought it would be quite fun. So we are going to take some sponges and we're going to use a red one and we are going to use a blue one. Um, and we can use whatever colours we want. I was using Cherry Cobbler and Knight of Navy the other day. So um, my sponges still have quite a bit of that on there. So what I'm going to do is, I still, because I've got some colour on there, I am just going to go around the outside and what will happen is that you will pick up the raised part which is just what we want. Now, you can probably see that it is going onto the tree a bit. That doesn't really matter because we're going to add some more colour on there. But I don't want the colour too deep. So um, quite often with our sponges or our daubers, um, we still have colour on them unless we wash them out literally each time, which I don't tend to do. Um, so as I say, you can just put a little bit of that blue colour in there. And in fact, we don't want red for the tree. We're going to have green for the tree because it's going to be a green tree. So um, I'm going to have, uh, let's do two colours. I'm going to, sorry if my light's wiggling. I'm just going to get Mossy Meadow out. And um, what about Lemon Lime Twist? That will probably work as well, won't it? Right, so we've got Mossy Meadow and Lemon Lime Twist. So let's start with the, um, we should start with the lighter one first, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's start with the lemon lime twist um, because I can then use the same sponge. And we're just going to pick a little bit of that up. And now all we want to do is to just go across where the tree is. So again, the sponge is quite good because you can sort of wiggle it into a little bit of a point. And what I find is that if you um, move the card as you're going, you can just get those little tiny pieces that you want. So I'm turning the card round. So as I say, I can just get up into those little pieces. Um, it doesn't matter too much if it goes off the edge because this is supposed to be just sort of like a little wash on there. Um, to just add a bit of uh, colour. So let's just take this piece out onto there. And I'm going all over it in the Lemon Lime Twist and then I'm going to pick up <clears throat> some of the highlights in the... Let's just try and get this little piece just in there. I don't really want it to go out onto the other bit. So as I say, just brush it gently and then move it up onto the other side. Like this. Okay, so that's done in the uh, Lemon Lime Twist. And now, just to give it a couple of extra tones, I'm going to use the Mossy Meadow. Um, you can choose any greens you want. Um, these were just two that I just picked up that I thought would work quite well together. So we've got the darker ones and we can then just, again, quite lightly. Um, you can always, my, my rule of thumb, you can always add more but it's difficult to take it away. So if you don't want it um, too dark, um, just do it quite lightly to start off with and then just put down little bits as and where you want them. I want some right on this little corner piece here. So I'm just getting the sponge into quite a little wedge so I can just go into the bottom piece here. Um, 
and you might get ink on your fingers. I normally have ink on my fingers most of the time. Um, you can always wear gloves if you don't like getting ink on your fingers, but I really don't mind too much. I think it's all part of part of crafting. Go and have a shower and it normally comes off, so it's um, it's not too bad. But as I say, you can just get into those tiny little corners with the, with the sponge. And let's have a little bit down in this bit here. So as I say, I'm just getting the sponge just so I can touch into that corner on those ones like that. And there you have a really rather lovely um, tree, which as I say is, is completely standing out, completely one level. So again, um, I was talking about doing cards for, um, for sending abroad um, and that's something that you can do. And you can then take um, something like the Wink of Stella and you can just, because the Wink of Stella will um um as it's a water based it will add um some water onto the edges and just bring out those edges a little bit more so you can just take those ones round but as i say it's a lovely way of using all of our dies in a different way so not only can you cut things out and you can have all of the um, the little leaf branch um, pieces sticking out um, and get lots of dimension. But if you're wanting to post something uh, um, internationally, overseas, um, you can just use um, embossing and you get this lovely frame in there. Now, I will put a sentiment on this. Now, what sentiment am I going to choose? I think I'm going to choose um, Season's Greetings. It is. It, it covers virtually everything and it is one of my favourites. So, I think we'll have Season Greetings at the bottom here. And I'm going to do that in... Let me get my blocks out. Um, I think we're going to use that in the... H block which will fit perfectly is that the H block yes it is so we're going to have that one out and uh, being photopolymer it's really good because you don't have to worry about lining it up too much because uh, um, you can actually line it up once you've got it on there and now just to choose a colour um, oh decisions decisions I think I am going to do it in the mossy meadow because then I would put it on a mossy meadow card base, I think, which will make it um, quite nice and muted for Christmas, which I think is quite nice. Um, again, if you're doing cards for which have a more of a masculine feel, um, it's a great way of doing it. So season's greetings like that on the bottom. And then, as I say, I would put it on a... Um, on a uh, on a base um, which I'm not going to show you now um, but a, a, a base of mossy meadow so that it would then tone in perfectly um, so a lovely way of using our dies and we use the in the woods framelits and we use the stitch shape framelits um, to create a beautiful card which has lots of uh, um, dimension on there just from the embossing so thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again bye bye